What are we looking at here? Uh, well, a 15 volt battery out of a Model 3 or Model Y. This one came out of a customer vehicle. The car had codes for the battery that they had, so we, uh, we ended up swapping it out for a new one, not this one. <laughs> so uh, after the customer was all set and that car ran off the road good, we're like, well, this is a bad one, what's inside? Because we're always told like, these things are wicked smart, which they are, and then these are actually MOSFETs, but you have a microprocessor there and lots of little diodes and uh, in out with your little tiny smart connector. But uh, it's a replacement for this guy, which is a lead acid 12 volt battery that they, uh, they used before. So we're just trying to figure out how these things work because we've got a few now, not nearly as many as these, but when diagnosing, it's just, Knowing what's behind these connectors, you know, underneath all the covers, all this good stuff helps. Actually, real. I was going to say. I, I think or I the reason why this battery was actually replaced is because the car was in an accident, and then the ECAP chips trip. So the only way to fix it is by replacing the boards. So we were trying to figure out how hard it would be to replace the boards to refurbish batteries if the boards go bad and the battery cells themselves are good. 